When you think of a desert, you typically don't think of floods and an overabundance of water. These are not the images that usually come to mind. But in 2017, Peru was devastated by massive flooding. Although these desert lands are thirsting for water, when the rains come, it is quite obvious that the infrastructure is not adequate to support such rainfall in such a short amount of time. This catastrophic flooding caused vast amounts of property damage, loss of livestock, and worst of all, loss of human life. Although northern Peru received the brunt of the storms, other larger cities were not spared, including Arequipa. This flooding causes all utilities to be cut, ironically including water service. In Arequipa, a city of over one million people, residents must wait in long lines, hoping that a water truck comes so that they may fill up a bucket for their family. But oftentimes, residents are afraid to wait in these lines as violence often breaks out as people fight for water. But even through the storms and the landslides, the Lord was listening to the prayers of His people. Over 3,000 miles away, the Lord was preparing a short-term missions team to serve in a small but very important way. Here in Arequipa, there's always two cortes of water. If it rains or not, there's always a cortes. Here there's a lot of water because it's cortes for almost a month when there's no water. Y los tanques no vienen continuamente por acá, los cisternas, así que tenemos que ir a traer bastante lejos. The group installed a water tank above our, our outsider home, and uh, she'll be able to use water when there's a, a, water a water shortage or a water outage, and she can also share it with her neighbors as a witness for the love of Christ. Yo creo que también una parte que también esta esta bendición puede entrar a los hogares de mis vecinos, ya que por medio de esto también puedo testificar a Cristo en la vida de cada de mis vecinos y poderles hablar de la palabra de Dios y compartiendo este líquido que Dios nos ha bendecido. Es una bendición no solamente para mi familia, sino también eh, para mis vecinos del barrio. By the time I got through, you know, with the work, he hugged me, and the more we talked, the more he, you know, he said, I, he thought, well, hey, this guy's just a regular person, you know, uh, and so that's what we want. Uh, we're nothing special about us. Uh, we're just coming to uh, help people because we're we're Christians. I guess what I didn't expect was was for was just the way that I was really the one that was helped by it. I felt like as much, if not more, than the Peruvians that we came and and uh, you know installed water tanks for. For me, you know, I know that I, I think what I realized is that um, you know we're all called to be doing missions, and uh, you know it's not just come here to Atacupa. Get in, get out. Like I said, it's it's it, it doesn't end with the mission trip, and so you know you, you need to take that back home and and apply the experience you had here. You know, we as Christians need to be asking God to show us, you know, where He's calling us to to serve others, you know, in our own communities and our regular lives. But I think the most effective um, way to do it is to come with the heart of a servant. It's awesome in so many different ways to, to come and see what exactly is going on around the world missions-wise, but just living-wise as well. The short-term team was able to install water tanks for several families in the church and a water tank for the church itself. As if this weren't enough, working side-by-side -side with the Peruvians, they were also able to install a wheelchair ramp that the church has needed for quite some time. And of course, no trip would be complete without a game of soccer. Peruvians against Americans. I mean, we just sort of messed around. We weren't that good, but we had a really good time. And we, it was fun to do.
do something they love and we ended up having a lot of fun and having enjoyed doing it. It was, it was really cool. The team ended their week hosting an American cookout for all of the church. I've definitely grown from it. Uh, I feel like each and every relationship I, I value, not only within the team, but, but all the people that we've met here in Peru.